I thought I'd uh, bring this guitar back out. You know, I hadn't used this in a number of years, a very long time. And my last video that I did with this, um, I, I had forgotten about this pickup. I was wondering where it came from, and then I went through my notes, and actually, um, uh, Jim Tyler of James Tyler Guitars uh, told me through either himself or one of his uh, his people that um, this was a, he thought it was a, a, a prototype uh, Seymour Duncan hot rail that um, I got this out of my first Tyler that I, I got from Pedrini's Music in Alhambra way back in like the mid 80s or something. Um, and uh, Kevin Dukes, uh, it was his guitar that um, uh, Seymour Duncan and Jim were working on these pickups, uh, which he put three bridge position pickups on Kevin Dukes' guitar. And uh, it was going to be the first production uh, guitar of, of Jim's with these and, and, and of, of Seymour Duncan's. I don't know how many um, variations they went through to get to this, but uh, this was, I guess, apparently the first prototype hot rail. Um, this is the original one I had. Um, and uh, I have another one that has a problem, one of the wires separated. Um, and uh, maybe I can get that fixed. I don't know. And the, uh, the one I had in the bridge position, uh, that just, I don't know what happened. It was gone. Um, but I've used it for a number of years. So, yeah, <clears throat> uh, to give you a comparison, I don't have another um, Ibanez with a hot rail that I can compare with with the new hot rails. You know, the current production hot rails versus the uh, initial ones that, that first came out, which was, uh, this was one of three, I guess. And um, so I did put uh, the newer hot rail in this. I thought, oh, I'll take this out and put a, a new hot rail. I used it for a while, but it didn't have the same um, qualities to it. And I, I didn't, not that it's bad. I mean, I love hot rails, but I just didn't have the same sound that this one has. And so I put this back in. I had Jim put it back in, and he wired it up. Uh, this is a Jim, James Tyler modified Ibanez. Um, if you haven't seen it already, RT450 from Japan. And uh, it's got the uh, Demeter Low Mid Boost Preamp in it. He did a refret, uh, a number of other things, Wilkinson trim, the battery pack in the back. Yeah, I'm using two springs. Um, and uh, so the thing is, I've noticed with this pickup is that um, it has this really biting top end and it has a really it has a devastating low end. I mean, like a really devastating bottom end to it. Um, that is open and tight at the same time. So comparatively, having owned both pickups in this guitar, I would say that the newer one um, is a bit more mid range focus. This is a little bit more scooped in the mids. Um, has a, a, a bit more bite in the highs. Sort of like a 1960s, you know, Fender Strat uh, uh, single coil on top of some kind of a humbucker um and the, and the it's a little more scoop and the bottom end is it's just got this devastating type bottom end um and i've used it on a lot of like amp modelers it just cuts through the muddiness um it's always had that sound and uh but again this was originally in my james tyler um strat which had a floyd um it was kevin duke's former guitar and um i had it worked on and i had a humbucker put in it and the gizmos and all that and the preamp and and so I, I i took the pickups out and the uh one of them ended up in this guitar so um yeah i'll play you some samples um but there is a difference uh also in the looks i don't know if you can see this i'll kind of hold it up here i don't know how much of this pickup you can see but uh it's a different sort of shape like the original uh i mean the, the current production hot rails look like two elongated twinkies together because the edges are rounded on both. But with this one, it's like one long Twinkie elongated because they, they come together. There's no curvature, there's no um, turn in the, uh, the, the molding here. It just all comes together as one piece, sort of like two halves that close and there's no gap where it, it curves in. Um, so I have no idea how these were wound or what that has to do with the sound. I would imagine, I would guess that it may be very likely that these were hand wound if it's prototype. Um, so I don't know that at all for a fact, but um, yeah, if, if they were to come out with a pickup like this, um, I mean, again, uh, I don't know what they did differently, but I'd be very interested to know what, you know, the backstory on it. 
And I know that you know pickup developers um, come up with all types of variations in their prototyping. Um, Seymour Duncan probably being you know the world's biggest uh, and most uh, well-known uh, guitar pickup manufacturer. Um, they knew what they were doing, but uh, I couldn't find any other information on it. But uh, yeah, I remembered that it was either Jim that told me that um, or uh, someone else at, at Tyler Guitars. And if someone wants to correct me on it, uh, please do. But um, yeah, I'll play some samples. I'm going to play through my, uh, my Asnikoff uh, Super Relief preamp, tube preamp. And uh, that'll be the first one. The second one will be my uh, Synergy uh, Powerball. So this one's the uh, the super lead. <laughs> Yeah, that was the super lead, and uh, I'll go ahead and play it through the uh, uh, Synergy Ingle Powerball uh, now. Mm -hmm. 